hands, how many of you currently have children? Okay. How many of you plan on having children in the future? Of those of you who raised their hands, how many of you would consider adding a doula to your birth team? Awesome. How many of you don't know what a doula is? Okay. Throughout this speech, I will elaborate on the benefits of adding a doula to your birthing team by explaining what a doula is, the physical and emotional advantages of using a doula before, during, and shortly after childbirth, and demonstrating those benefits by discussing the role and experience of doulas. As of July 2017, the American Pregnancy Association defined a doula as a professional trained in childbirth who provides emotional, physical, and educational support to a mother who is expecting, who is experiencing labor, or has recently given birth. The doula's purpose is to help women have a safe, memorable, and empowering birth experience. The problem here is that people are not aware of all the options that are available to them during this often complicated time in their lives. A doula is one of those options that is wildly beneficial and widely unknown. In 2012, a survey that took place in the U.S. In a 2012 survey that took place in the U.S., 6% of people giving birth said that they used a doula, according to Rebecca Decker, Ph.D., RN, in 2013. Doulas provide different types of support for mothers and partners before, during, and after childbirth. According to Dona International in 2019, doulas can give physical support by offering position ideas for comfort and labor progression, comforting touch, counter pressure, and breathing techniques. They can also give emotional support by helping families feel supported in their decision making, easing the overall emotional experience of birth, and helping create a place where hormones can work at their best. Doulas also give support to partners, whether it be a romantic partner, a friend, or another family member. They work their best to help the birthing partner be as involved as they want to be, or not involved as they want to be, in the birthing process. The handout I gave you um, also has more information on the benefits of having a doula on your team, um, more physical and emotional advantages. It also goes in depth on clinical advantages of um, using a doula, such as um, fewer requests for pain meds, reduced use of Pitocin, and a reduced likelihood of C-section, all of which are, all of which have their place but are currently misused in the medical field. Um, from the Dona International Resource Library in 2019. Many people believe that a doula is the same as a midwife, and that they provide the same services. While it's true that doulas and midwives share some common skills and goals, a midwife's main concern is the physical health of mom and baby. Um, doulas also don't give any medical advice, they don't diagnose conditions, and they are focused solely on the support. A great number of people also believe that a doula will only work with you if you have a natural home birth. According to the Doula House in 2013, while many doulas do have a true love for natural birth, the core of their role is support. Support for the parents' roles in their decision-making when it comes to the birth of their child, and in their innate wisdom about the best path for their birth. A good doula will nurture and support a family on their birth journey, no matter where it leads them, including hospitals, birthing centers, C-sections, any use of medication. Um, a doula can add a lot of unique support to the birth of a child, and it can ultimately lead to a more positive outcome, whether that just be more positive memories relating to the birth of your child. One thing you can do is to start taking doulas seriously. Women have been taking care of other women and families before, during, and after childbirth since the beginning of time. Only now doulas are professionally trained to do so. Um, you can also start learning about healthcare alternatives in general. This can help you make an informed decision no matter what big health scare, life decision you might be making. If you are planning to have children, write out an ideal birth plan. That means hospitals, birthing centers, different people that can help you out, different medications you can or can't take, what you want for that time in your life. This plan can show you what you really need in this big life event and what you don't need. And it can show you what kind of care will be the most helpful for what you want to happen on that day. There are people who 
very much want to have a natural home birth free of medication, free of all the expenses of a hospital. And there are people who find it extremely necessary to go to a hospital and have a cesarean birth, which is, if there are a few complications, it's healthy for them. It has been my goal to educate you and persuade you of the benefits of receiving doula care, not to convince you that it is your only option. You now know more about the role a doula plays in the birth of a child and what supports they provide if you didn't before. Hopefully, you are now thinking about looking into alternative healthcare options, not just related to childbirth. When we think about birth, we should think about more than white coats and sterile rooms, because there is so much more to experience than bringing a new life into the world. 